The strike continues for 5,000 nurses at five different hospitals in the Alina Health System. The week-long walkout is centered on health insurance for nurses represented by the Minnesota Nurses Association. Alina wants to replace their union-backed health plans with alternate plans widely used by other Alina workers, which the nurses find unacceptable. CTN's Jordan Rylance has the story. Car horns sound in support of the nearly 5,000 Alina nurses who began striking Sunday. One of the issues at hand, the changing health care plans for nurses. The plans they want to move us to are plans that they actually would have 100% control in. So that means that every year they could change our plan. They can change how high our deductible is, how high our out-of-pocket costs are. They can change our premium. So just what they're offering us this year doesn't mean that they can't change that next time around. The Minnesota Nurses Association wants stability and consistency in their health care plans. But Alina officials say the new plans are just as good, if not better, than the current health care plan. We think they're good plans. They're very solid plans. We think there's some um, information that they still need to learn about that that would really help them feel comfortable with what we're offering, what we offer 30,000 other employees. Of the 1,000 nurses on staff at Mercy, about 800 have joined the strike, leaving Alina officials to bring in replacement nurses from all over the country. It's standard operating procedure for the hospital, but it leaves striking nurses concerned. I think they're trying to get more, less staff and more patients, and that makes it unsafe. Safety is another major concern for Alina nurses. They say workplace violence is happening much too often with little protection from Alina officials. People are getting injured in our facilities from patients. There's violence happening all the time, and we really want to make sure that we're getting protected. Alina President and CEO Penny Wheeler hopes to continue addressing this concern with the nurses union at the bargaining table. Workplace violence is a serious issue that affects all of our staff. It's an issue we've been working hard to address. In fact, it's an issue that we've made progress in working with our nurses in both the hospital and at the bargaining table. The striking nurses say they will return to work Sunday at 7 a.m. In Coon Rapids, Jordan Rylance, CTN News. Alina says the new health insurance plan would save the company $10 million a year. It says patient care and hospital procedures have continued to remain at normal levels besides the cancellation of a few elective procedures. As for the new contract, both sides say they want to return to the bargaining table, but no date has been set.